Hello everybody, it's Mindy and I am super excited because look who I have here. It's a Diamond Art Club and it's a sneak peek for this week. Yes, I got a sneak peek and oh my gosh, <laughs> just wait, just wait. Okay, I was just making another video and I saw the FedEx truck was pulling up my driveway and I was like, oh, oh it made it. Uh, there was a slight worry on my part that it might not make it in time but it made it oh my gosh i can hardly wait okay so you see that it's square right square blue strip means it's a square and it's big okay and we're going to talk about it here's the box here's all the contents all the instructions directions all the things you need and we're going to open this up while i get the plastic off this let me just tell you that this will be available for sale on saturday which is the 22nd. Yes, it is 22nd. All right. It is available for uh, Ruby and Diamond members have a little early access of 30 minutes. Okay. So where I'm at, which is Eastern Standard Time, I get my early access at 12. If you're out on the West Coast, it's like nine in the morning. All right. So uh, half an hour later, 30 minutes later, um, they have general releases for everybody, not just Ruby and Diamond members. So if you want this one, get there, be there. Okay. We're going to talk about this because this is really special. Okay. Um, actually, when I was talking to Diamond Art Club, um, we talked about this painting in particular um, and what people might need to know about this. Okay is my oh okay my last one came with the inventory sheet inside inventory sheet i think they're now putting inside this bag which i love that part okay so let me show you first of all what we have for our toolkit if you've never seen a diamond art club here's what the toolkit is <laughs> apparently my last video i ran through pretty quickly i didn't talk about ab's or anything like that and somebody had questions so i'm going to do this one thorough sometimes i think we we think that everybody knows all the information and they don't. So it comes with some baggies for your drills. It comes with a pair of tweezers, which are very sharp. Ooh, they went doing. <laughs> um, and there's a cap to put on them to keep you safe. All right. A blue pen with a squishy to put on your pen to make it more comfortable. We got two plates of heart wax. We also have a four placer, the thin white four placer. Love those and a clear tray or boat okay that's your tool kit that's what you need to diamond paint folks right there you get tweezers with squares they don't come with rounds but with square drills they do i'm gonna hold off on that sticker for just a second that's the little sticker like for a log book or i've seen a lot of people putting them on the ends of boxes okay where does my bag open it opens down here let's open it at this end okay there we go. All right, this painting. Here's our drills. Oh, yep. My last one came like this too, where they're all in one bag. In the past, they've had separate bags, but now they're in one bag. That's a big bag of drills. Big, huge bag of drills. All right, what else do we have? Let's see. Come on. Come on out of here. I save all this because I put it right back in there, and I put it back in the box until I am ready to work on it. You move over there. All right, let's find this inventory sheet so we can talk about what this painting is. First of all, let's talk about the canvas. It is soft, soft, scalloped edges, surged edges to help prevent fraying. I've really never had a Diamond Art Club fray. No, I don't think I have. All right, I'm going to roll it backwards. We're going to get out our inventory sheet, which I'm pretty sure will be in here. Like I said, my last one, my Chuck Pinson, it was inside, so... Oh, there it is. Okay, look, and it flipped upside down for me. Wasn't that nice of it? <laughs> um, here's a step-by-step -step instruction booklet. It's got tips and tricks. There's a code in here for your next purchase. If you've never purchased from Diamond Art Club before, I do have a code you could use. It's Mindy15, and it can save you on your first purchase. After that, you can always find a code. There's a code here. There's a code on your packing slip. There's discount codes everywhere. Okay, are you ready for this? Let's talk about this. This has been a hot topic. It's been all over the uh, Diamond Art Club VIP group, and it has to do with Miss Josephine Wall. All right, so here she is. Just say, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's Josephine Wall, right? Is that gorgeous? 
it's gorgeous look at all of those butterflies and birds and she's just like flying through the air with the birds and the butterflies she's beautiful all right her name is spirit of flight by josephine wall you can put when you start and when you end your canvas you're going to keep that for your records okay down here at the bottom she is 106 centimeters by 70 centimeters that is 41.7 inches by 27.6 inches she's a big one don't you think she has to be big for all of that all of that gorgeous detail look at how pretty she is look at her hair just blowing back and the feathers and look she's got a peacock feather she's got different kinds of feathers she's beautiful she's absolutely gorgeous even over here these clouds they have like birds and i don't know moths or something in them right she's gorgeous gorgeous now how many colors does she have let's talk about that all right she has 66 colors that's a lot of colors all right 66 i don't know if that's the most for any diamond art club kit but that's a lot look at the symbols look at we have the tv antenna thing here <laughs> and then we got the squiggly line so they had to come up with some interesting symbols for these because there are 66 right 66. now here's what we talked about is that you know a lot of people are doing the massive canvases with like 220 colors and 100 of colors and you know all of that these are hand charted okay these are hand charted and we're going to look at this canvas really close and see how the hand charting makes all of these details come out more colors doesn't necessarily mean it's going to come out better they're fun to do i mean i have one i'm going to do someday mine only has 105 colors but we're going to look and see how well hand charting does for this. Those other images are still computer generated. Okay, first off, right off the bat, as I start to unroll this, look, what do you see? Clear as day. Bird, 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 right? And they show up perfectly the way this is charted. Let's zoom you out even a little more so we have a full view here. Okay? So, Look how perfect they show up. They, they just stand right out. I forgot to mention that these are peel off. You can just peel these off and put them on your jars, your containers, your storage. All right, so let's keep going and see what else we notice. We have greenery and leaves down here. Oh, and there's her face. Look, here are some birds right here. Look how well you can see those. I think the charting of this so far is magnificent. Look, here's her hand, right? See her hand here, her arm, nice. I can see where some ABs are gonna go. How many are in here? Let me see, I didn't look. Two, anything under 150 is an AB. So we're gonna have 129 and we're gonna have 141. That's a yellow and that's white. This is gonna be white. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. What else do we see? Well, here's another bird up here in her hair. Can you see that bird? Yeah, that bird stands out perfectly clear. Look at her eye. She, her eye is closed, but you can see her eyelashes here, her eyebrow. Her face looks good. It's blue. <laughs> um, all right, so then we move on to feathers in her hair. Look at the feathers. They're nice. Look at that. Here's another little bird. Okay, we're going to zoom in on him. Can you see that little bird back there? Let's see. Let's zoom you in. Can you see him? He's got orange feet. Okay, let me see. Let me take you up there. Hang on. Road trip. Hang on. Road trip. Road trip. Can you see him? Look, he looks like a little seagull or something, right? And that looks like a bird. And those are birds. Look at how well that looks like a flying fish. Those are flying fish, <laughs> right? Oh, it looks great. It, there's another flying fish and another smaller flying fish. Guys, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. All right. And then look at that peacock feather. Gorgeous. Blue feather up there. Another feather, another feather. She's beautiful. And then as we come down to the bottom, look, we have a whole bunch of blue butterflies in here. And then we have some butterflies that have more detail, more detail. This one has more detail. And then look, what's right there? And look, at that's a bee. And that's a bee. 
Can you tell what everything is on this painting? Does it just pop right off the canvas? I think it does. All right, let me turn it. Oh, let me, here, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. We'll turn the whole thing around on my counter like this. Look at that bird right there, you guys, look at it. Whoa, and we'll just take a little flight. Well, she's flying, why shouldn't we, right? Look, tell me it's not beautiful. Tell me that's not going to turn out. Look at, there's another dragonfly. Okay, I didn't realize that there's two. There's like a shadowy dragonfly here, and this one's going to be outlined with AB, I bet. But look at her. She's beautiful, right? She's gorgeous. Look how well it turns out, this charting. Now, here's what they have said, and they've even posted it in the VIP group, that Josephine Wall is hard to do because Josephine Wall has so much detail. And it's hard to hand chart them and it takes a lot of time because they want them to look like that, right? Oh my gosh, I cannot be happier with this. This is beautiful. It's gorgeous. So, I mean, there was a poll one day where you could vote for your favorite Josephine Walls. Which ones should they do? I've heard they're going to do all of the Zodiacs. Um, that's still on schedule. And then they did a poll for which other ones people would like. All right. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous, you know, and lucky me, I was able to get this sneak peek to show you because Josephine Wall is one of my favorite artists, <laughs> right? All right, you ready to tackle this? <laughs> now, you know, this is going to be noisy. It does have the name right on the outside, Spirit of Flight, square with AB, kit number 1240. <laughs> I wonder if that means they produced... 1,240 kits, I don't know. All right, let's get these out. Hang on while I make noise. Have some drills. Just look at those colors. Look at them. Look at the colors. It's got all kinds of colors. <laughs> I am so excited. I can't be more excited, I don't think. All right, since this is large, we know we're gonna have multiple bags of like the same color. So let's start right out with, hang on, I got to move you because you're way too far out of my reach right now. And I'm going to zoom you back in to see the drills. In, not out. In. Here we go. All right. Multiple bags of a color. And now we need to hit the focus button. Come on. Thank you. There we go. So, one, two, eight, forty-fours. Here's our 310. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> we have one bag of 310. Okay, one bag. <laughs> 3371 is really popular in a lot of these landscape type things. Well, I call her a landscape. She's not, well, you know what I mean. Um, 300, a couple bags of those. 648, two of those. One, two, three, 976. Of course, look at all that orange hair and down here. And yeah. Green. Uh, beige. We'll just call that beige. Three 647s. That's a beautiful green. And three 645s, which is also a green with a gray hue. Grayish green. That's what we'll call that. Grayish green. <laughs> so that was the big bags. Those were the big fat bags. All right. So we're getting... Oh, did we end with 645? We sure did. Over here, we ended with 645 and we start with 645. So that's three. <laughs> 939. Oh, look at that yellow. <gasps> it's probably all right there, right? Ooh, that's pretty. Some rusty colors. Three 301s. Two 938s. One 400. Blue, a bright yellow. Ooh, that is a bright, bright yellow. That is pretty. Look at it. Look up close. Look how pretty. Oh, look how nice they are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys. This is so exciting. A green, another orange. Oh, 209. My one of my favorite purples. Another green. Two 322s. Alright, there that's that big, big strip right there. All right, one more. These are getting a little smaller, a little smaller. Oh, but look at what we have here. Look what we have. Not one, but two bags of 141 AB. Now look at those. 
A, B. They put this coating on there, an iridescent coating. Can you see pink and purple and yellow and orange on those? You sure can. Look at the colors that that picks up, that iridescent coating on there. And it's under 150, it's number 141. That's the white. It's beautiful. Two bags. That white's going to be all over this painting. You can almost look at the painting right now. Pick out the white, right? Can you pick out the white? <laughs> all right. 823. 165. A couple more greens. A very pretty blue. I love that color right there. 503. That's beautiful. 803. A rust. And there's our yellow AB. There's a lot of those too. 129 is the yellow AB. Look at, look at the pink, purple, green, all the colors, right? All the colors coming out. Brown, a dark green, another green. 3811 is beautiful. So is 155. Oh, here's my colors right here. Here we go. I'll take that one and I'll take that one and I'll take that one. Yes, please. Look at those drills. Oh, right there when I said that, we got a concave one. <laughs> yeah, we have one with no bottom. Whoop, it happens, it happens. But, I mean, the rest of them look good, right? <laughs> That's going to happen in any painting you get. As long as you have enough drills, you don't, you know, have to worry about, oh, wow, these are some fat bags right here. Yeah, a gray-green. Is that a green, gray, gray-green? Three of them. Oh, how about some mustard? We'll have mustard, please. A gray. And that's a light mustard. <laughs> there is a lot of yellow. I mean, look at all that yellow background in here. There's a lot of yellow. Now we get to the itsy bitsy bags of just fillers. Well, some of these still have quite a bit, though. A beige. Melon. That's a beige with some orange. Coral. Oh, there's my 208. And 3731 is a beautiful pinkish coral. That's beautiful. Maroon. These are beautiful. This painting has, has it all, you guys. All the colors. They're all here. Look at them. And it keeps going. We're not done. We're not done yet. We're not done. All right, another melon. That's a rosy pink. And a couple more purples. 550. Oh, 550. Last and least. <laughs> I was going to say last but not least, but he really is the least. <laughs> My favorite. It's okay. All right. <laughs> you have a lot of other purple friends there. Okay. Um, how do we tackle this? Ones and twos, right? Ones and twos are our ABs. Okay. So, oh my gosh. The ones. Oh, how do I do this? Do I take you off? Let me let me leave you on the tripod, and we'll just kind of we'll just kind of peruse. We'll peruse the canvas, looking for a b. Okay, here. Ones. Here, ones and twos, 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 twos. All right. Ones. You see all these outlines? Ones, twos. Um, dun dun. Twos in here. Twos. Oh, and the dragonfly. I told you he's all outlined with the twos, right? And there's some here. And then all of these white lines. All of these white lines are the white AB. White AB here. White AB up here. Let's see. Is there any more up top? I don't know. Let's see. Let's cruise up top. I know you're going all over the place today. Twos, 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 twos. Uh, twos. Twos in this feather. <laughs> They're everywhere. I told you the white were going to be everywhere. Twos all up through here. There's ones up there. The yellow. Oh, man. Okay. What do we have over here? Um, I don't see any ones or twos up there, but we have ones here around this bird and twos. Ones and twos. Ones and twos are all in there. Okay. How much do you love this painting? Really? I mean, seriously, I love this painting. I love it. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Okay. I adore it. And everything, the detail shows up perfect. All right. It's on sale tomorrow, Saturday. Okay. Get there. Um, if you're Ruby and Diamond, get there. It's nine o'clock 
Eastern. It's 12 o'clock. No, I did that backwards. It's 12 o'clock Eastern and it's nine o'clock Pacific. Yes, get that right. Um, yeah. And then, you know, if you're not a Ruby or a Diamond member, half an hour later, it opens up for you. Um, they've been sending the emails early. At least for me, I get a little early email. It comes maybe 10 minutes early. I get in, I get logged in, and I refresh when it's time to actually go by. And then the paintings just pop up and you're ready to go. Just a little tip, a little trick. But there you go, guys, a Josephine Wall. She's beautiful. All right. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you all really soon. Um, happy shopping. <laughs> Have a nice day.